Welcome back to I've somehow gotten stronger when I improve my farming skills. Anime review episode number four. We're here to episodes seven and eight for the series. Another two parter. Yep. Yeah, hint at with like, it's kind of the same thing with the last two parter where this was hint at in the previous episode. So Fall basically is being engaged to a prince. Yeah, and it turns the prince is very shady. Yep. So we have these monsters show up, and of course he spells by this sledge sacred sword. I'm like, if this was a sacred sword, there'd be power emanating from the damn thing. And I can tell, basically, it could not be the, a real sacred sword, because sacred swords usually have energy around them. This has nothing at all. So Fall, basically not explaining anything to Al, is curious. So Helen, and by the way, reread me Helen at the start of this episode. Which I found to be so hilarious, the fact these two get a chance to meet. And the fact these two are rivals for Al's love. <laughs> yes. So, these two work together as two-parter. Yes. Helen, the receptionist, and Riri, the hero. So, <clears throat> by the way, we also found in episode 7. So, it turns out this print is actually corrupt. And all the monster attacks and all the raising prices stuff. And this all because he, well, he, he's been behind it. And thanks to information gathered by Al's mom. Where it turns out she was actually the former commander of the Shadow Puppets. A infamous intelligence organization. Al knew nothing about that. He knew his mother's got measures, but damn. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so... They find out that apparently the sword is a fake, and the fact that also there's this demon who's got a sweetheart who's a human. This was able to be accomplished due to the fact there's a peace treaty between demon kin and humans. That's a and so the prince has been exploiting him for this, and also keeping his sweetheart locked up in his castle with a ball and chain attached to her ankle. Yeah, I found this out a little bit later. So. So, Al, Riri, and Helen are planning to, thanks to information, plan to stop the wedding and expose the prince for being a jerk. So, the first thing I do, rescue the guy's sweetheart. Which, of course, he does. Which, of course, you have, I think it's Riri tends to pick him up. Well, well it was kind of as farmers. Yes, as farmer, because he obs he's obsessed with a farmer. So, <clears throat> the... The girls proceed to, well, they're dressed like farmhands. He's like a normal farmer. And, of course, like, then they're chased by the, by, by the guards throughout the whole city. And then they throw him to the window, which is like, oh, are you are you going to start? Yep. And then he proceeds to take out six guards <laughs> with vegetables, which I thought would be so hilarious. It's like, it's like, da 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 <laughs> It turns out he stuffed her mouth with vegetables. I thought this was funny. Yes, yeah, so funny. Yeah, and then he picks her up, carries her, and like, oh, we found this weird. Let's go to church, expose his crimes. It's like Al basically kicks the door down when he's about to give Fall a smooch. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like you're evil, and all the attacks were nothing more than staged. And of course, Galvin is like. And of course the guard's like, oh, arrest him. He's think he thinks because he's a prince, basically, he'll he's like oh, he's like untouchable. So yeah, there's and prove the fact that Sacred Sword's a fake. He takes Sacred Sword, throws it in front of a monster, and monster pays to break it in half. Oh, and he's like, Oh, I unleashed some monsters on the capital of Melis. And luck enough, Helen and Riri probably suspect this. So he had this they had the soldiers retrain the adventurers. To fight out the monsters. Which is like the kick button. Take no names. Yep. And then of course he's like. Kind of threatened uh, Fowl's father. The king. About the stab. And then he's stopped by a freaking. Uh, white carrot. And then Al proceeds to punch him. And then of course like. Guards arrest these, these, tr these ruffians. And they're like. Nope. We're arresting you. Because you're a jerk. And he's taken away. He's locked in chains. 
And of course, everyone, and we have Fall, Helen, and Riri arguing of who Al loves the most. Yes. And they call the color average. And of course, she puts on her fake accent, which to act like she's southern. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the fact that you have Helen, Riri, and Fall all basically fighting over him. Just basically arguing, not punching each other. And of course, Al, and of course, they ask Al his fields like, well, I gotta go. I got I got some fields to take care of. And they pick some fruits. And they goes a girl like, yes. And then he's run off. And it's really the end of the episode. There is a girl he liked. <clears throat> named Elvia. What did you find out about her in the next two, in the, in the last few episodes of this, of this, of this season per se. But really fun two-parter. I kind of, it, it feels like the last couple, ep- last few episodes I've watched, like this two episodes and last two, felt like basically like the style of story this would be. This would last more than two episodes. I'd say about four or five at most. Maybe a whole book for Hokusumis, but two parts, fine. Yeah. And as of right now, I have four more episodes to go. And that's it. Yep. But yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do into this like button. Uh, next up, basically, we have two more episodes, a uh, few more episodes of this, and as the case goes, that's probably it for today. Okay, thanks, people. Bye.